Welcome to Tech Planet, and once again we take a look at some of the most amazing machines out there. We begin with the MakeU Multiplier. One very incredible machine brings pressure forming to the desktop for the first time. It is capable of molding detailed shapes by applying over 4 tons of force to a sheet material. The multiplier can work with many materials, but it does need a template for creating molds. Combined with a 3D printer, users can prototype short runs of parts before going to mass production. The multiplier will be priced around $5,000, which is still quite a bit less than a typical industrial former. Another neat forming machine is the Ceramic 2, and if you ever wondered how a bowl is printed, well then you might be a little bit surprised. A few companies design these machines, but the Ceramic 2 is a highly accurate variant, with over a 400mm squared printing area. It features a two-color pad printer with a pretty high accuracy. With an open tray size, it can tackle objects such as ceramic bowls, plates, mugs, and even kitchenware. At number 8, the Thermal Bore. Petra has built a semi-autonomous boring robot to tunnel through basically anything. It creates 18 to 60 inch diameter tunnels through any geology by blasting the rock with an extremely hot, high pressure head. The robot can even bore through quartzite at 300 MPa, which is normally a rock which has to be blasted. This new method will allow for scalability in areas that are tough to drill, such as urban utility projects and city. The next position is the Core Flow. A new subsurface machining technique is the development of friction stir welding which allows for subsurface networks to be integrated into structures. So basically it builds heat exchangers for chips, LEDs and things like that. It has this ability to build channels underneath the surface. By creating a subsurface channel, Coreflow provides an integrated method to dissipate heat from a part without having to add pipework, gaskets or other costly measures. At number 6, the Nano Injector. Nano Injection simply allows DNA to be inserted into a cell. Building on the concept of micro injection, a Nano Injector is a tiny lance hooked up to an electrical current. It is given a positive charge to attract negatively charged DNA. The contraption punctures the cell, and the charge is reversed, thus, the DNA is inserted. This Nano Needle is 10 times smaller than a microscopic needle, so it's very unlikely to damage the actual cell. This eventually could be used to treat genetic disorders or move DNA into a different part of the body. Reaching the midpoint, we get to the RM series. Automation is key when it comes to hot spinning CNC machining. Hot spinning involves spinning a piece of metal on the lathe when heat is being applied. Once heated, a tool presses against the metal and forms it into a final shape. This is done for anything cylindrical or conical ranging from brasses to stainless steel. Repcon built some of the more impressive variants with built-in induction heaters, hydraulically compressed clamps, and even a transfer system. There's definitely a weird machine out there titled the SMP-17. If you are in a colder climate, then you might see a loader piling up snow on the street. But this particular machine is a little bit different, and it's a type of utility vehicle for winter maintenance. It basically gobbles up windrows and utilizes the conveyor system to load trucks out the back. It is highly efficient and can operate up to 8km per hour, but it also lacks the versatility of a typical loader. At number 3, the APT series. There are many track machines out there, so it's a little bit hard to cover them all, but the highly automated APT is a welding robot available in train or truck design. It's able to produce rail welds in consistent high quality in a continuous sequence. It automatically aligns the rails and performs the welds. Once completed, it also breaks off the excess and it allows it to go to the next section. Ultimately, it has sped up the process for building tracks with a consistent weld quality. We get to a very large machine titled the Rambus 4000. One of the largest offshore cranes has a total lift capacity of 4000 tons. The vessel is typically used for heavy lifts including oil platforms, bridges, and even windmills. The ship combines four azimuth thrusters with main drives, so it can carry out the installation works without using mooring speeds. Its towering cranes can also position up to 25 meters on the platform, so it can position to hold very large cargo loads. But the ship is not just a heavy lifter, and it's basically a floating city with a combination up to 78 passengers. We get to the great number one, and it's titled the Dump Hole. Running heavy equipment as a living, I personally found this machine to be really strange. 
The machine basically had the front end of an excavator and the back end of a dump truck. This whole contraption sat on a all-wheel drive system. It had approximately a load rating of 6,000 kilograms and a top speed of around 30 kilometers per hour. Maybe the company was thinking about cutting labor costs, but in the end, this never really took off, so to speak. But I would like to know what you think about this machine and all the other ones listed in this video. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.